you have a mind that is like a sponge waiting to be influenced differentiate between these two things we all say that we want to get rid of influences right what do you mean by getting rid of influences influences are not eager to come to you you are eager to soak in influences first of all accept that you are soaking in influences just like vacuum soaks in air hmm? if you have a low pressure area if you have a low pressure area what does it do what does it do it sucks in fluids from all sides doesn't it do that does it or does it not now our mind is a low pressure area first of all admit that what is a low pressure area that has nothing your mind is such a place a thirsty hungry place that it is demanding to be filled with influences like a sponge that is asking can i have a drop of water so that i can absorb it why is our mind of that quality that it is hungry for somebody to come why is our mind like a vacant drawing room and we are standing at the door wanting somebody to come and fill our house my house is vacant my house is empty can somebody come and please grace these chairs my bedroom is waiting since thousand years there is nobody to grace my bed can somebody please come now there is nobody who is so eager to come but like a beggar we are asking every passer by can you please come and sit in my house pal bhar ke liye koi hame pyar kar le jhootha hi sahi is that not our situation influences are not eager you are eager and you are eager because that place in the mind that should belong to the most sacred divinity that place has been left vacant by you so all kinds of rubbish is trying to fill in that spot the royal chair is empty there is nobody to sit on it the king is missing so all kinds of loafers and undeserving people are rushing in to sit upon the king's chair why you displace the king why invite the king again let the king sit on his throne and then you file you'll find that you are not eager for influences anymore then influences will come you will say no 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 vacancy have you seen these hotels in hill stations in the off season what do they do in the off season they have all these agents on the roads and they catch hold of every passer by please come and occupy a room in our hotel 400% discount if you come to our hotel we will give you 2000 rupees even donkeys and mules they want to invite can you come and occupy a room in our hotel off season why is your mind permanently in off season and what happens in the season the rooms are overbooked even if you want a room you cannot get one it is not about the tourists and their drivers it's about whether the room is occupied are you getting this 
द इनर कंप्लीटनेस मस्ट नेवर बी कॉम्प्रोमाइज्ड नॉट फॉर अ सेकेंड मस्ट यू बिलीव दैट देर इज समथिंग मिसिंग इन योर लाइफ बट वी हैव बीन ट्रेंड टू बिलीव दैट वे दैट समथिंग ग्रेट इज मिसिंग इन माई लाइफ एंड वॉट इज मिसिंग कैन बी सप्लाइड बाय द वर्ल्ड वेन यू आर अ किड यू आर टोल्ड दैट फ्रेंड्स आर मिसिंग फ्रॉम योर लाइफ देन यू आर टोल्ड दैट मार्क्स आर मिसिंग फ्रॉम योर लाइफ देन यू आर टोल्ड दैट अ रिप्यूटेड इंस्टीट्यूशन इज मिसिंग फ्रॉम योर लाइफ देन यू आर टोल्ड अ गर्ल फ्रेंड इज मिसिंग फ्रॉम योर लाइफ देन करियर इज मिसिंग देन मनी इज मिसिंग देन अ ग्रैंड हाउस इज मिसिंग देन किड्स एंड फैमिली आर मिसिंग बट यू आर कॉन्स्टेंटली बींग टोल्ड दैट समथिंग इज मिसिंग फ्रॉम योर लाइफ आई एम सेंग नॉट फॉर अ सेकेंड मस्ट यू बिलीव इन दिस प्रोपगेंडा देर इज नथिंग एवर मिसिंग इन एनीबडीज लाइफ यू आर ऑलवेज ऑलरेडी एंड फॉर एवर परफेक्ट स्मॉल डिफिशियंसीज हियर एंड देयर आर जस्ट लाइक अ बिलीनियर लूजिंग अ टेन रुपी नोट दे डोंट मैटर यू मे लैक इन नॉलेज यू मे लैक इन स्किल बट दैट डजेंट मीन दैट समथिंग इंपॉर्टेंट इज मिसिंग फ्रॉम योर लाइफ द रियली इंपॉर्टेंट इज ऑलवेज देयर विथ यू वाई मस्ट यू एक्ट लाइक अ बेगर You invite all the influences. Influences don't come on their own. Stay firmly grounded in the realization that I am all right. I am all right and always all right. I get sixty-five percent. I am all right. I get eighty-five percent. That does not make me more all right. I was already all right. don't accept congratulations i got a promotion there is no need to congratulate me because if you are congratulating me you are also telling me that there was something wrong with me before promotion sorry i was always okay there is no need to come and give me gifts on my wedding anniversary when i was a bachelor I was joyful even then. There is no need to celebrate my anniversary. I am always okay. Always okay. There is no need to have special days because every day is special for me. So don't need to celebrate birthdays and Holi and Diwali and New Year and this and that and whatever. Every day is a festival for me. I am always all right. I am always all right. The one who lives in this realization will never be influenced. Never.